Okay, welcome back to the American Racing Journal dot com, and we are going to continue uh, our learning how to read the racing form. So let's uh, let's look back at our horse that we have here. Let's zoom in a little bit and see what we have. The horse we chose for this particular exercise is Emerald Pond. Let's zoom in just a tad so we can see a little better now. We already realized it's a 10 horse Emerald Pond. Louis Contreras is the jockey. Okay, the running line goes from left to right. The first whole line is his last race. And so we're going to look at his last race. Before we do that, over here underneath the jockey's name, it says time form US, pace early 97, late 92. This is a European speed figure. There's a, they got their own uh, handicapping tools and magazines and past performances and time form is a rating of one of them. That's a European rating, which we don't really apply to the American horses. We use that to compare the European horses when they come up. But, uh, so, this is American horse, and it's American race for the most part. But, you know, not to say they certainly come over. But we just want to look at this last race. Okay, so we're starting left to right now. This last race was April the 1st, 2017. It was the third race at Fairground. The track condition was good. The distance was a mile and a sixteenth, but this asterisk means it was about a mile and a sixteenth. The T in the circle means it was on the turf. As we heard in the last video, all of his races have been on the turf. Real quickly, what's this say underneath here? Previously trained by George Gerald R. Singer, and it gives his record, 71 mounts, 11 wins. What this means is his last race, the race before that, Someone different trained him. But if we go back five races, we see Steve Asmussen, he trained it, and he's training it again. Steve Asmussen's training the horse again. So I suspect those three races were at Tampa Bay, which is in Florida. I suspect just while he was in Florida, he had a different trainer. He's back with Steve Asmussen today. So as we said, it's a mile and a 16th race on the turf. Now, this is a fractional time. 23 and 2 is the first two. That's how, where the lead horse, the front horse, it got the two furlongs in 23 and two fifth seconds. They got the four furlongs in 40, which is a half a mile. A furlong is an eighth of a mile in 47 seconds. He did six, he did six furlongs in one minute and 10 seconds and four fifth seconds. And he finished the race at a mile and a 16th at one minute and 41 and two fifth seconds. That's what the winner, his final time was. This race, as you see where my mouse is, he was. This race was for four-year-olds and upward. With the arrow, it was for fillies, and it was a fifty-thousand-dollar stakes race. Maybe New Orleans ladies of, you know, they abbreviate where where we have to. It was in Fairgrounds, which is in New Orleans, I mean Louisiana. All right, so then the seventy-six. That's his speed figure. That was his buyer speed figure he got for the race. Okay. Let's, we can, we'll come talk more about speed figures later. But we just want to be able to know what we're looking at here. All right. He was in, broke from the three post position. There was an eight horse field. He broke from the three. All right. He broke. He Coming out of the gate, he was in first by half a length. When he got to the first two furlongs, he was in front by half a length. When they get to the half mile, four furlongs, whatever it was, 47 and something, he's still in first. Now they hit the six furlong mark. At the top of the stretch, and he's done. He is faded to eighth. He's four and three quarter lengths behind the leader. He finishes the race in eighth. As we know, there was eight horses in the race, so he finished last. Mm -hmm. Deducted from that, and he was nine and three quarters lengths behind the winner. David Flores rode him in that race. He did take the Lasix medication. He carried 117 pounds in that race. The horse did that includes the jockey. His odds in that race, he was four, 15 to one, 15.6 to one. Okay, here's another speed figure uh, we're going to look at right here. 87 dash 08. This is the tr this is the this racing form's own track variant. They have their own figures, their way of the 08 is telling you how fast the track was. So it was a pretty fast track that day, according to the racing form's calculations. This horse ran or the horses that day or the horse this day ran 87 of the ball. Well, who knows? There's so many different calculations. We all like to have a point of reference, but like I said, there's more to a race than just who runs the fastest. We're just 
learning how to read the information. So we'll talk about these speed variations later. We see Prado Sweet ride. That was the winner. His horse won that race. He carried 117 pounds. He won by three quarters of a length over. Cash control ran second. He f was carried 117 pounds. He was a length ahead of the third place finisher, Selenite. Also carrying 117 pounds. Selenite finished two and a half lengths ahead of the fourth place horse. And then there's a, usually a track comment at the end of each race. It says, inside pace gave way, which is pretty much what he did. He set the pace and then he quit, as we see. All right, so we're kind of starting to get some of the numbers under our belt, learning how to read the form. We're going to come back with some more videos and learn a little bit more each time at the American Racing Journal. Dot com.